Hey everybody, so I just received my F-Stop Guru backpack. Um, this is actually the short version, and I'll explain the difference in a little bit. Uh, this is pretty much a first impression review. I'm gonna even call it review, first impression video, to kind of demonstrate how big it is. And um, I got a small shallow ICU. And there are a lot of questions online about sizing. Can I fit this camera in there? Like how big it is? Do I need something smaller? Do I need a pro one? Um, there, there are quite a few reviews on the medium ICU or like the small pro, but not so much for shallow. So I just want to make a video real quick to demonstrate like just how much things you can fit in there and this is the right one for you. So real quick, just on the outside, the backpack is nice. Um, I'll say on par with uh, the nicer regular backpacks that you get every day, uh, like um, no face comes to mind. And it's pretty rugged. I have no doubt that it's gonna hold up pretty decently. So it's an internal frame. and. What it does is like keep the backpack rigid so it won't sag when there's only things at the bottom, which is nice. It'll like make hiking and stuff easier. But let's get down to the business. So unlike other backpack, the entry points for the camera equipment is actually in the back. It's good and bad. Um, good because people can't steal things from you easily. You have to go for the back. There's no access from the top. The bad is that you cannot really get to the equipment too easily. You have to like take the whole backpack off, lay it on the ground, open it up. Some people say you can like swing it around to the front with a strap, with waist strap still connected to you. I haven't tried it yet, but it just feels kind of goofy. I'll just take it off, put it on the ground, and just open it up. So once you open it up, this is a small shallow ICU. I have my doubt about fitting everything in there, um, but as you can see, I mean, it fits pretty perfectly. I have a D90 with the Tokina 11 to 16 attached, as well as the um, lens hood as well. Normally people put it this way, but I like to put it like this, just so that I can grab it easier. It does stick out just a little bit, almost like a quarter inch, but it's fine because the whole pack can be pushed in a little bit. And there's a little, actually a little gap between the end of the ICU unit to the back. And there's padding here on the base plate. So really, when I zip it up, when I wear it, I don't feel anything sticking to my back at all. So that's no issue. And I love it. So open it up, grab the camera, ready to come out. So long in a small shallow ICU, I also have my 35 millimeter prime lens, my 18 to 200 walk around lens, and a 50 millimeter prime lens. I still have spot for one more or some kind of accessories. Now, I normally would not carry all these things. I think most like uh, for, for the most part, I'll just do like Tokina wide angle, 18-200, and then a 35 prime. And I'll take this out and stick some like miscellaneous stuff. Next thing I'm concerned about is that I want a backpack that can actually carry out the things as well, not just my camera equipment. This is for when I travel to like different countries or like long hiking trip. You know, I might want to stash something else as well. And that's also one of the reasons why I look into a backpack uh, camera bag. I have a sling which is really great, but it's not great for carrying anything extra. So let's set this up. With the small shallow inside, I'll show you what else I can carry. Let's open up the main compartment. So if you look here, you have, I'll say, half a pack left of space. And I'm not sure if you can see it, but there's a little room in front too to slip things through, which is great. And here's a little pouch for either the water bladder, which have a extra pouch, uh, extra slot for as well for the tube, or people say you can put your laptop in there. And right here I have a MacBook 13 inch. Stick this in back in there. Now one thing to keep in mind of though, is like if you put your laptop here, there's no padding at all. All right. And um, I have a sleeve for my MacBook, but I'm not sure it will fit. With, uh, with a sleeve. If I put the sleeve on, I might have to put the MacBook just in the main compartment. But uh, the inside is, is smooth. It's not padded, but it's smooth. So most likely I'll just carry it like this. I'm not, it's like, I mean, it's a laptop. I, <laughs> if you scratch up, scratch up. It's more function for me. Well, I'm not gonna review the rest of the pack. Let's just take a look real quick. Open up, small compartment right here. You can Put some mis miscellaneous stuff here. One compartment back. You have all these little things, well organized. Unclip. All right. 
pretty standard. We have something called Gatekeeper. You can basically hang equipment or tripods on here. Uh, most of you are not use it. I'm sure it's fine, but I just don't, I don't like a bunch of things hanging off. So we have mesh pockets on the sides, both sides, which is great. Keep water bottle here because most likely I won't stick like a water bladder in there, you know. Um, other than that, the backpack. Oh, sorry. One more thing I was kind of looking forward to is a side pocket here. Like once you strap it to the waist, you can stick your point and shoot camera in there. I tried the S95, it fits. It's a little bit of squeeze, but it fits. The problem is when you wear this, this is kind of to the side or slightly back. So it's actually kind of goofy to like unzip it, work it out and take a picture and stick it back in. Most likely I'll just keep the, um, my point and shoot in my pocket or something and put some other uh, miscellaneous stuff here if really necessary. On the other side, you got two straps here. You can hang things off as well. And again, I kind of doubt I'll use those. Otherwise, that's pretty much it. Um, I'm not gonna sugarcoat it. The backpack is kind of expensive for what it is. Uh, I think the whole set cost me about two thirty. But uh, then again, I mean, it, it also depends on like how often do you think you hike or travel and need something like this, and do you think it's worth it to you, like in terms of your financial situation as well. Um, I think it's I think it's pretty solid. This is a long term investment, um, and I look forward to actually trying it and then give a more in-depth review of the backpack as a whole. All right, so hopefully this is helpful. Once again, I got the F-Stop Guru with um, small shallow ICU. Super is really smooth, by the way, really nice. And if it's able to fit the Nikon D90 with a Tokina, my biggest lens, or with the lens hood attached, with the Niker, Niker 35 millimeter, with a 18-200 and also got probably, well I got a 50 prime lens in there but probably can fit something else in here as well if necessary. And I tucked the pet, the cover for the ICU down underneath the ICU because I figured we got this flop already, we don't need, we don't need another one. <laughs> Weight distribution is really good. Uh, once I strap on the back, it's comfortable. I mean it's heavy <laughs> because of all the equipment, it's not a bag itself, but it's really comfortable and I do like it. I think it's money well spent, but after I actually take it on a couple of trips, I'll let you guys know how I like it a couple months down the road. All right, hope this helped.